Hello everyone. Some people have the ability to cure people despite not being professional health workers. They aren't vets, nurses, or doctors. Spiritual healers, for instance, are one of them. And if you're interested in helping people spiritually or through energy, you might be one of them. You might not realize that you've been doing this. But if you pay attention to these revealing signs, then you'll know if you are one. So let's see the signs you need to pay attention to to know if you're a spiritual healer. But before that, please help us by clicking that like button below. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any interesting updates in the future. 1. You're super sensitive. Energy healers are sensitive people. You can hear things, see things, smell things, or feel things that others don't even notice. You can pick up energies from others. And you exactly know whether they're angry, happy, sad, grieving, or any other such details. You can tell which people need your help and which don't. You can say, I'll be here for you until you're strong enough to one person, and then say, you'll be okay. You're stronger than you know to another. It's because you can differentiate which one is strong enough to go through their difficult times and which one isn't. 2. You've survived difficult situations. It doesn't mean that those in difficult situations will always become spiritual healers, but in most cases, some of those survivors have been led to a healing path. Difficult situations aren't only limited to broken hearts, but it can be near-death incidents, traumatic events, sexual violence, childhood abuse, and so much more. If you've gone through any of those difficult situations, you may find out that healing somewhat correlates to you. Those situations have made you stronger, more prepared for anything. And if you find yourself becoming a wise and mature individual with higher perception and consciousness, then you are the right one. 3. You exude positivity. The most notable thing about this is that everyone around you will experience it. Even in bad conditions, the atmosphere will change to a positive one once you're there. You can feel it. People are calmer. Animals are relaxed. And even the air changes. You're like a light that brightens up a gloomy and dark room. With your presence alone, everything can change into a better and more positive one. 4. Animals and kids are drawn to you. Kids and animals are highly sensitive creatures that can feel the true emotion and energy from others. They can tell whether someone is genuine or fake. They can pick up negative or positive energy. And spiritual healers exude positive energy, so they're more drawn to you. Surely, it's one of your best traits as an energy healer. 5. You're overwhelmed by crowded places and noises. You can go out for sure, but when you have to spend an entire day in the public, it can be overwhelming. Remember, you're sensitive, and you can pick other energies up, so the energies from those people will definitely surround you. If you're easily tired emotionally, after spending a few hours in the crowd, you need to refrain and get back to the silence and solitude of your own home. 6. Nature is your home. You don't want to be surrounded by fancy walls or lavish settings. You enjoy it more when you're out there in natural surroundings. You're at peace when you just sit there in open fields. You can spend hours looking at the sea. You feel at home in nature. You feel and know that animals are your friends. Your dream home is one by the open field, looking toward the mountain or the sea. If possible, you want to live by the sea or the mountaintop, without any neighbors or crowds. 7. You can make others feel better. Those who suffer emotionally often feel better after they meet you. Even talking to you provides soothing sensation. People often turn to you for guidance, emotional assistance, and relief because they know they'll be better once they meet you. You only listen, and they become better already. You only need to listen to your heart and follow it. Being a spiritual healer is your path. You only need to embrace it. Well, what did you think about this video? I hope that you've enjoyed my explanation, and please don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And thanks for watching.